Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool, clean webcam overlay. Before I say anything else, I'm just going to quickly show you what it looks like. As you can see, it's really cool and I just want to quickly give a shout out to Harris Heller, the guy from the Alpha Gaming channel for making this webcam overlay up. He hasn't really done a tutorial on it though, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to make it. So as you saw, it was really cool. It's not like just a normal square welcome overlay. There's little indents in the top corner and all of that. So it looks really cool, but because it's not a normal square, it does take a few more steps to make it. All right guys, so some of you might not know how to use Photoshop. There is the download, it's still an overlay in the description, but it isn't as easy to set up. So you just have to watch the tutorial in, in the video and then you can have it for free. All right guys, to start off, we're just gonna make a new document. It's gonna be 1920 by 1080, because that's the uh, this is a normal webcam overlay size. We're gonna get rid of the background, although I might, we're gonna get rid of the background, although I might make it black just for now so you guys can see easier. So go with so it's black now, but you will want it to be transparent at the end. I'm gonna quickly add a new guide layout. They could go number two across and two on the rows, just so it's easier to set up. And now we're gonna go over to the pen tool and click on the horizontal line. Right, okay, so now we've got this, we're gonna go up to this line here and make sure you press shift as you clicked. As you click, that makes the line horizontal and straight so it isn't at a random angle. Next, we're gonna go over to this line here, press and shift and click and again. And then next, we go up an angle to about here. And then we go over to this line here, press shift and click. I wanna go all the way over, but the easier way is to just copy and paste it but before you do any of that we want to change the line size so go into the stroke and change change it to three or you could change it to whatever you want i think three is the best but you might change it to two or one or maybe five or four i, I don't it doesn't really matter it's just what you think's best anyway so now we've made the shape or quarter of the shape you want to go on shape one and press command j that duplicates it once we've duplicated it, we want to go to Edit, Transform, and Flip, Vertical. There we go, so we've got it Flip, Vertical, then you've just got to line it up with the shape. You might just use the arrow keys. And once you've got it lined up, we want to select Shape 1 and Shape 1 Copy. Press Command J, we'll copy and paste it. Go Edit, Transform, and Flip, Horizontal. And we can just line it up. As you can see, there's this weird glitch of Photoshop at the moment where it doesn't line up exactly. So just find the bit that isn't lined up. There we go, we found it. And let's use the arrow keys to line it up. Right, there we go, guys. We've got it all lined up. And then we want to put it into a group. So press Command G and then do Merge Group. If, you, if you're not happy with how it looks, press Command T and then you can shrink it down a little bit. It's, it's really up to you on what you want to do. But I'm just going to leave mine as it is. Next we've got to make an alpha mask. That makes no sense to you at the moment, but I will explain as I go on. So this step's really important. What you've got to do is go onto your magic wand tool. It might be a quick selection, but it's going to hold it and then do a magic wand tool and click inside this shape. Next you want to make a new layer and then go onto the paint bucket tool and fill it in as white. Right guys, so I'm just going to quick explain why this is important. Because the webcam is not a square, we've got to make the webcam fit in with the overlay, and that's what this mask does. So you need to save two things. Number one, you've just got to save the alpha mask, which was just the big square. Then you get rid of the big square, and then just save the overlay. Save them both as PNGs, and then we're all set to go into OBS. Right guys, now I'm on OBS. First of all, you need your video capture device. And then secondly, you need to drag the overlay on top of it. Alright, so I've got the overlay, I'm just going to drag it onto OBS, then we're just going to resize it so it's the right size. You don't have to worry about making it the complete right size right now, but the closer you get to it before, it, the easier it makes it later. So now we've got it like roughly right, it won't fit perfectly at the moment, but that's where the mask comes in for. So we'll go on, we're gonna go to our video capture device, go onto filters, and then add, and then add a, let's find it, a image mask slash bend. You can name whatever you want and just press OK. After that, go type to off alpha mask. 
alpha channel and then go browse right this is where you want to select your mask that you made i've just saved mine as mask and there we go as you can see the thing's actually the same size as the overlay now but you can just press close and resize it and as you can see it fits perfectly you just gotta line it up properly and then it's gonna look really clean I think I've got it right, it might not be completely right at the moment, but I can save it later. And also my webcam isn't in the right place, so it doesn't look that good. Also guys, if you want to add a drop shadow, you can just add a drop shadow to the file on the uh, overlay. And then it looks really cool. Right guys, I've also made it on one of those big lights where it's just your webcam screen when you're not in a game. Also, I've made that transition. If you want a video on transitions, let me know. Anyway, um, yeah, my webcam would go inside of here and it looks really cool. There we go guys, that is it for the video. If you need any help, let me know. I'm always really quick to respond to comments and I'll happily help you. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys. Peace.